Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So, uh, with Game of Thrones, or the next season of Game of Thrones fast approaching, I thought I would share a way to easily get the show without having a um, HBO subscription added to your bill, or let's say you don't have it or don't have a uh, cable subscription, but want to get in on um, all the buzz, find out what's going on. Um, so I thought I'd review um, HBO Now, the service that was released actually approximately a year ago now. Um, originally exclusively for iOS, but now available for multiple platforms. So um, here I'll be reviewing it for Android, but it is available for iOS, Android, uh, on the Fire TV, Chromecast, um, I believe the Roku as well. So just about anywhere you can get it, you can get um, use it. So I will jump right into it. So I've already signed in, but one of the features that they've actually recently added to the app side of things is that you can browse around um, all of their offerings uh, without actually having to sign in. So if you want to make sure it's worth your while, then um, you can check it out, see if you'll like it or not, and play around, see if there's enough to make it, make, as I said, make it the price worth it. So uh, once you're in the app itself, it's you'll see a nice menu. Um, your star screen is basically uh, recommended in recent stuff that has been added to the service. Um, hitting the menu will let you um, see the all shows on the service um, by category, so series, um, kids stuff, um, and then if you want, and then the thing that I just see now is that going to the kids section. If you want to lock uh, HBO now just to kids content, you can do that as well. Um, and then sports, you can see what's. Um, available there collection so groups of things like by comedy or essentials new episodes things like that so very straightforward you can check that out i'm um, hitting the browse if you want to or the search button you can see if there is a particular show available on hbo so let's say you're thinking um i'll see you something that i at the moment i know is not there but for example if you want to catch the hunger games and you want to see if that's available um so that's not available if you want to, if you do include the it's not there either mm -hmm. um so basically things that are there um if you know it's there and you want to get to it quickly then you can do that uh for me an additional benefit of hbo now is that i can catch up on uh boardwalk empire so if mm -hmm. i want to get to it quickly i can just do boardwalk and i can get to it easily now let's say there's a certain set of shows that you always watch and you want to get to them easily um, what you can do is, for example, um, right now I'm on season four, so I've caught up on episodes one and two, so right now I'm, uh, next up I'll watch episode three, so I'll add it to my watch list. So now when I go back to the main screen, now you'll see the number one next to watch list, and um, it shows up there. And then once you start watching an episode, you don't have to go browsing through the entire app to uh, remember or find the show and episode that you were on you can just go to continue watching and um you can get to those shows quickly so um i've gotten i've recently watched these particular episodes so it's continue watching i usually don't stick through all the credits every time but once you finished watching an episode in its entirety it should go away and then it does have the edit button so um if i want to um, delete them for example I can do that so I know so that way I don't have to go and worry about having to worry, think if I finish them or not uh, the settings menu is pretty straightforward you get your um, billing information um, parental controls video playback quality um, and things like that um, I think and then if you want any marketing notifications things like that um, I think the canceling your account is in the menu or um, somewhere along those lines, but all the um, info, or yeah, it's actually there. So if you need to manage your subscription to remove the account, then you can do that as well. Um, but that's really pretty much all there is for that. Um, at the moment, um, HBO Now is $14.99 a month. At least that's in the United States. So um, if you want to get a handle on how much that'll be. So assume $15 for four episodes a month um, so that's just under four dollars per episode so that's approximately the price of an HD um, or certain um, HD episodes um, as it is so 
um, not too bad of a price. And then the more stuff you watch, the average of the um, cost will go down. So, for example, for me, uh, with last week tonight with John Oliver and he, and coming up um, Game of Thrones, that'll cut essentially cut it in half. Um, watching, for example, catching up on Boardwalk Empire helps a little bit there as well. So, just a couple of different, just a way of looking at. So, the, essentially, the more you watch, the more it covers. Uh, for me, at least the current shows that I'm watching. Uh, definitely, definitely helps out. So eight episodes into fifteen dollars is not too bad of a deal. Um, and this is on, of course, on top of my what I pay for Amazon Prime. So it's a, you, the price can get up there. But for me, once Game of Thrones is done, once the season for last week tonight is done, once I'm done watch, catching up on Boardwalk Empire, you can always go in and cancel it because this subscription is month to month. So. Um, very managed or very cost friendly there and then your account information stays there so for example um, if you need to reactivate your account you can always log back in using the same credentials so once Game of Thrones is set to for example um, let's say once seven, season 7 is set to start I can go in the week before or the day of even and reactivate my account and um, I can start watching again from there. I don't have to worry about my credit card or billing information unless, of course, it's a new card and I need to update it. But everything is there. I don't have to really well, worry about anything there. And, of course, if you want to see if it's even worth your time and money and if there's enough content for you to watch, they do offer a free 30-day trial. So um, if it's the first time you're using it and it's the first card, an email account, and all of that, you can get 30 days free. So... Um, for example, now it's probably a little bit too late to binge watch on Game of Thrones, but if you can figure out how to get five seasons in without losing too much time into season six, that can be done. But if you want to binge watch on certain series um, just to get all of that in, then um, there you have 30 days to try the service out, see how well it works, see if it works on the device you have right now, and um, go from there. So... Um, that's really all there is for that. Um, as I mentioned, um, it is available for um, Android, iOS, Chromecast, Fire TV, um, and all of that. So um, most platforms are supported. I didn't see anything about Windows Phone, so I'm not sure if they have the app there. I didn't have a chance to check, but it doesn't hurt to try. The app itself is free um, and very UI friendly, so good, nice phase and transitions and all of that. Um, good filters for the series so if you want to see all of them um, and various default um, breakdowns of things of what they have and all of that that is all available and then a good jump list as well so um, definitely worth checking out and especially with a th free 30 day trial it is definitely a service to check out so that is all there is for that so if you have any questions comments concerns uh, need something to clarify want me to check if anything is there um, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on twitter at patel in zero one but that is all there is for this review thanks for watching and listening and until next time